Hey guys, so I wanted to make a quick video. I made these toy soldiers about 10 years ago, and so I don't have instructions on how I made them or any videos or any pictures for that matter, but I've had a lot of people ask me how I made them. So what I want to do is take them apart and kind of show you uh, and talk about how I made them so that maybe you can get an idea to where you can make some yourself. Um, I don't make these anymore, but I do make styrofoam ones, and I have a video on my YouTube channel. Be sure to check that out of how I make the styrofoam ones. Okay, so we're going to take this apart. All right, I made these in sections so that you could store them because I know nobody has room to store these big old things. So, first thing is the head. The head comes off. I'm just going to put that down here. There's the arms. All right. All right. So this is this is the bottom. This is all connected. This stays together. And what this is, is basically two fence posts. Um, I think I got these from uh, Tractor Supply, but anywhere they sell fence posts, or maybe you have a couple fence posts laying around. Anyway, what we did with these was took a piece of two by 12 to make the base, and then the two posts are actually screwed, try to lay this down, are actually screwed onto this piece of treated um, 2 by 12 As you, you can see the screws right here, and we sunk them a little bit so that they weren't scratch up the floor or wherever you wanted to use them. Alright, and then the feet are actually pieces of landscape timber. Just cut and put on there. Alright, now we used conduit, just pieces of conduit, drilled holes in the top, and this is how they go together. All right, and then the holes are drilled in the bottom of the body, and they just slide right down over top of those. Now this, this was some old beams we had laying around, so you'd probably never find this size again, but if you wanted to make one of these, um, I would say use a piece of uh, four by six, uh, maybe a treated post, and then and then just angle it down. You could cut the corners off, and you can see this one's been been kind of sanded down to make it a little bit more round, and then the top. We kind of angled the top to make it look more like his chest and then angled the back off a little bit too. Then we drilled a hole in the center and I'm going to try to put this back together, which is kind of hard to do with one person. Because this is heavy. And this is why I started making them out of styrofoam. Got to get these lined up. There it is. And it just sits down on her. And you see that's pretty sturdy. I mean, it's not going anywhere. All right. All right. The arms are actually landscape timbers. Landscape, landscape timbers have this rounded edge on them. So we didn't have to do anything to these. Just cut them to the right length. And like I said, I kind of based this toy soldier on, as far as measurements, on my body. Um, then we used a piece of one by four and just rounded it off on each end. And you can see there's screws that just screws the landscape timber on. Cut a hole in the center. And then the hands, the hands are actually, um, you can buy these at Home Depot, Lowe's, 
and it, it actually starts from here and then it has the whole round part on it. I think these are um, are used on uh, furniture. It's like furniture legs. And when you buy them, they already have a screw inside of it. So all we had to do was screw, I'm gonna drill a hole in this and then screw them on. All right, we gotta put this back on. This just sits up here. And put the piece of pipe in. And then the neck is just a little piece of landscape timber left over from the arms. All right. And then the head, I think this head was actually a six by six post. And then it was cut down on a table saw to give it this angle and then it was tapered, tapered at the bottom and rounded. And you can see that gives you kind of the chin. And then we drilled a hole in it. And that's his head. Now, the bill on this is actually a plastic sun visor. And what we did was just cut most of it off on the, on the sides, right here. We cut the back part off and just cut it as short as we needed to. You can see it stops right here and then it's, it's tacked on uh, with a little tack. And it, we actually, I think we actually uh, cut this down a little bit uh, to make it look more like the real shape. All right, and as far as decorating it, you could go crazy, do it any way you want to. These used to be red and green, but I repainted them this year for my daughter. I'm gonna give them to her as a Christmas present. And her house is teal colored, so red and green wasn't gonna look very good, so we went with the golds. And, um, and then <clears throat> these actually, all the little belt pieces you see here, the ones here and the ones around the legs, I don't know if you can see this really good or not but there's actually pieces of belt around here to make it so you see the difference between the leg and the boot. And these are just put on with the little tacks. And all the little belts I picked up from Goodwill. And there you are. Like I said, you can make them, paint them any way you want them, add anything to what you want. All this is just little glued on, and I've had no problems with this staying on with hot glue. So, there you go, my two guys. Good luck if you try to make some. Thanks, guys.